Welcome to the boardroom. So, um, I did this research a long time ago when I started looking at color. <laughs> and this is about our shadowing. And I have it all ready. It's amazing. It's all ready to go. And it has to do with the tumultuous, tumultuous and crazy relationship between Cohen, Trump, and Eric Schneiderman. Eric Schneiderman and Donald Trump have been butting heads for years, as evidenced by the tweets that people have pulled up. But this is deep, and this is, this is big. It has to do with the Trump Organization and Eric Schneiderman basically bribing and extorting members of the Trump family, members of the Trump Organization, Michael Cohen himself. It is scandal. Scandal. And Trump was pissed. Pissed. And it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So, in 2013, Cohen and Trump went after the New York AG Eric Schneiderman politically. Michael Cohen actually said, quote, the damage to the Attorney General is going to be very significant, so significant that he will possibly have to resign. And this article was written by the New Yorker in 2013 about this whole debacle. And inside here, um, the AG, who is Schneiderman, who painted thousands of documents from Michael Cohen back in 2013. And the reason why I was digging for this stuff is because it tells us that anything that they see now in terms of Cohen had to be recent. They probably didn't have anything to charge him with that because the AG completely seized everything from him in this witch hunt. It may be how many of those there are, right? In this article, it says, quote, the New York State investigation into Trump's college wrapped up several months ago when a broad subpoena from Schneiderman's office asked for hundreds of thousands of documents and depositions from top executives. Hello? Now, Eric Schneiderman, not just for New Yorkers, but for every person who participated in TEI's program anywhere in the country. The lawsuit is nothing but a shakedown of a politically attractive target. Fix this, and they have documentation to prove that that's not the case. So that that wasn't what was going on here at all. Um, I thought that immediately. I'm like, oh no, it looks like Trump is paying off the politicians. Mm -mm. It, it's not the case at all. Always follows the law. He really does. Um, now, when I was investigating this way back in the day, when this whole Cohen thing started to break, yeah, I found it really interesting because the lawsuit was just settled the day previous. On April 9th. So I was doing this on April 10th, and then on April 9th, federal judge finalizes $25 million Trump University settlement. So Schneiderman, Trump has an axe to grind with this man. He went on to, he said nasty things about um, him in regards to his character. He went on the New York media circuit and attempted to take him down. And this is years and years ago. And uh, he, speaks to Mr. Schneiderman's character. And we have the complaint against Schneiderman right here. I can speak to his character. It's not nice. Not nice. Now, back then, I spent hours reading this entire lawsuit. Basically, Schneiderman extorted Trump for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, all while telling him, no, no, you're fine, you're fine. And then, screwed him at the end. Now, what, do you, what does Trump say about loyalty? And for those of you saying who are thinking to yourself, holy oh, crap, it looks like Trump was paying him off to keep him from filing this lawsuit. That's not, that's it. He was on CNN. He was on CNN. He was on CNN. He was shot in. Good morning, America. The day show. CNN. New day. Hot for a while. We want to morning. And then he lost. Um, Trump supported someone against me in 2010 after I won the Democratic Party. He gave me one check and that was it. This was all stuff to distract from the merits of the case. We have general solicitations for campaign contributions that go out all the time. I wasn't asking him for contributions. Um, this is back in 2013 and they made they were later unredacted um, and everybody kind of got upset about why they were remained redacted and how they did that. Well, they remained redacted until they weren't anymore. 
and um, ongoing investigation. There's a ton of different reasons why, but at the, at the end of the day, this means that the counterintelligence investigation was not only on Papadopoulos, but on Manafort, Gates, Papadopoulos, and Carter Page. So I'm going to prove that, that to you by right wow. I'm going to prove to you why it's about DC leaks. He was actually the first group to release the DNC emails. It wasn't Wikileaks. Wikileaks took them up. But DC leaks was a separate group that released the DC the DNC email. And Gustafer too was also in tandem releasing nonsense, claiming responsibility for passing the party. Oh, yeah. This is all the social media stuff that they went over. But if you take a look at the footnotes and the references here, you can see. He investigated Manafort from the Democrat side, as this was all going on. And as we've learned now, he was also under investigation by the Department of Justice at the same time. Campaign records produced absolutely nothing to show that Manafort had any role or contemporaneous knowledge of the platform change. He even sent an email saying, I guess there was a change in the platform that removed the army of Ukraine. Who pushed for it and why was so Papadopoulos, from the day he starts, knows that he is not to go out and speak to anyone on behalf of the campaign. He's not authorized to speak on behalf of the campaign. He's not authorized to about then UK Prime Minister David Cameron two months ago. He got no approval for the travel and then did it on his own initiative. Let him eat the cost and maybe he'll learn to play nice with the team and not go off on his own. And they relayed information on the state from fusion to the DNC. Here you get a chart. Here is the article. The quotes that mirror, mirror the um, intelligence community assessment and the final findings. So obviously someone who created this assess assessment was leaking to the media and here's the proof of why. So that implicates some people very strongly. They take out of the findings, they take quotes in the article, and then they source the article for you. So this just details the leak. You can also find me on uh, my PayPal address in the description box below. Please follow me on Gab Twitter, which is DC Phoenix at Jersey Beans. And uh, look forward to the next video. It's going to be a busy week. It's going to be very, very busy, but I'm glad I'm here. Oh, yeah. In every sense of the word. And he's going to be breaking that down in the very nice program that's going to be extended up here as well as Mr. Hotel. Uh, so we're creating the end of the special agent who found it. And it doesn't say in relation if the special agent also lost it uh, and the name is redacted. So you have, what, for five weeks, a period of time where the custody is an interesting thing. So what it is is uh, from police officer to police officer to uh, lawyer, you have evidence that's collected that's put into a bag. You have the bag sealed, and the person who collected it and sealed it has to sign it and put their initials on it. Well, the next time anybody looks at that, they have to break the seal, leave that seal there, put a new one on. So each time it is uh, switching hands or, or switching locations, there is a, a chain of custody. You can track progress of who had it, where it was, and, and so forth until the trial. So you could say, uh, this piece of evidence was collected at this crime scene was, uh, by this police officer, was examined by this uh, detective or, or tech, and it was uh, you know prepared for trial by this person. So you have the whole history of since it was in custody, where it was, and where it went, and who handled it. Here it's not going to happen. So, what, <laughs> you know, how convenient. What else can you say? Well, I was looking at this. The, there are 21 PDF files that relate to this, it were about this. In uh, PDF file one or part one, the key page or the key, uh, you know, key pages would be pages four and six. You go to part 21. The 